Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So the big news for the last 24 hours is that the indices in America, the Dow and the S&P more specifically, have closed at record highs. Uh, the Dow above 42,000, the S&P driving higher as we speak. The Nasdaq is a little bit away from claiming another record high, but however, it is pushing higher. So the fallout from the Fed's interest rate cut is really starting to boost some stocks at the moment and the gains even though the gains were kind of moderate they weren't really big uh, jumping candlesticks uh, full bodied uh, they it didn't stop um, hitting fresh highs at the moment. If we look on the Dow on the daily chart, as you can see here, just slight moderate gains in the last couple of sessions. Obviously, the big gains were from when the Fed did cut the interest rate. And uh, obviously, from last week, as you can see here, we were trading in the mid 41,000. Now we're trading just above 42,000, roughly six, 600 to 700 points being added to the Dow. So it's been really, really progressive for the indices at the moment. So how much further can we go? We've got another Fed meeting in December, expected to be another rate cut as well. Will it be 50 basis points or will it be actually even 75 basis points? If we remember a couple of years ago when the Fed was the only central bank raising aggressively by 75 basis points each time. So will we get another uh, mix of that or will they go back to just uh, being a bit more dovish 25 basis points? So possibly not even a cut at all. You never know. We'll have to wait and see. But let's just bring this down on the four hour chart. Uh, like, like I said, the games are just slightly moderate, but we have been seeing wave after wave of upside potential. Uh, at the moment from today's session, we're just seeing a little bit of mixed results. Just waiting to see if we can end the session above 42,000 because that would be a big catalyst at the moment. With the RSI just showing a slight bearish divergence, we could have a slight downturn. However, uh, the consensus is that indices and the dollar uh, should have a bit of a turnaround, uh, especially um, if the Fed can give us some more signals. Uh, S&P as well, let's just look on the four hour chart only because the daily chart just shows us the upside potential that we've seen time and time again. But from the early August sell-off and the recovery, uh, sorry, the late July, early August sell-off and then the recovery from that, uh, it's been quite outstanding really. I mean, we saw this big drop off that we were waiting for quite a while. Actually, let's bring it back to the daily chart. I just wanna see the awesome um, sell-off that we saw uh, to reach just over 5,000. But since then, as you can see, wave after wave of upside potential and now closing at a record high. So it's just gonna keep on going. Our, you know, December is a little bit further away. Obviously, it's past the presidential election as well. So we could get a few more upswings and downswings until then. Uh, but bear in mind that whatever happens, we'll be able to bring you all the latest in fundamentals and technicals. So stick with us, stay ahead, trade responsibly, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.